Mason, as best you can. Okay, Mason, why don't we just start again, please? Go ahead. Just tell the story. Don't worry about the time. Just tell as best you can. Go, Mason, when you feel it. Why do you like the cake? I want to talk to you about dressels, rolls, and birthday cakes. I like them because you find them in your in the freezer in the supermarket, and they take and they take them from the supermarket. They bring it to your house, and well, when you're ready, you just put them in the um, and you just put them. I'm getting all mixed up. Right. But what lines to say and what not to say? All right, you can start from the beginning again if you want to. I'm sorry. I guess that's all right with Marty. <laughs> yeah. You want me to tell you again? I want to tell you about Dressel's Frozen Birthday Cakes. I'm so hot. They're, they're, I've tried them myself, and they're very good. I want a sandwich. Yeah. Okay, come on now. Relax and tell me the thing, okay? This will be easy. Just just remember some of the things we talked about. Pretend you're talking as best you can. Pretend in your mind that you're talking to me as we did it when we were sitting there, right? Pretend I'm talking to a cake. All right. Pretend you're talking to a kid anyway. Tell, tell, just tell, tell as best you can that Mr. Dressel makes these cakes. Don't worry about your words. You're not trying to be an announcer. You're you're a mason. You're not a you're not a big man announcer. You're just a boy telling me about Dressel's frozen cakes. Okay. When is he ready? Please. All right, go ahead, Mason, and relax and tell us. Just tell Watch us. the light as he shadows. Go, Mason. I want to talk about Dressel's frozen birthday cakes. You find them in the freezer in the supermarket. They tell you to go down the aisle. And you know how you can tell dresses from any other cake in a store, wrap them, bag, and box? Because it says dresses on it. And you can tell of where they are. We're watching very carefully what this does to Mason. Um, whether the being on center, the, ad, the center point from which everything um, radiates or to which everything is focused, here on a set, for example, how that affects him. Now, he's high. His energy level is good, but he's still high. He reminds me of the cartoon characters, that we, the stock position of the cartoon character in a chase scene running across the cl uh, off the cliff, and he's no longer ground under, but his legs are still moving. Well, that's what he's like after he leaves the set. He's still up. Um, we want to, at all costs, preserve the genuine quality of, that Mason has always had, long before he did commercials, which is as a loving, a caring, and a, and a, and a gentle boy. Couldn't beat it. Try it again. So you can't beat tasty bread. <laughs> See that? Come on, fall apart. <laughs> you want something good to eat? You can't beat tasty bread. I always say. <laughs> <laughs> can't beat it, huh? Happy <laughs> just fall apart. Now well, the bread's still apart. <laughs> Did you have a good time today? Well, I had a pretty good time. For a day's work? Yeah. What would you rather do? I don't know. Eat. Tasty bread? <laughs> no. Take an ice cream, take an ice cream, take an ice cream. Tasty time. Swim? Swim, yeah. No, I know. Pope's hobby still. Model area. Daddy, you know, I'd rather swim than have all that food. Okay. I'd rather have all that food than swim. That sounds more like it. Because the, the water doesn't go into my stomach. The food does. But it's cooling and refreshing it is. Oh, the mm. food. Oh. But the water, the wonderful water. Yeah. How about hot fudge mm. and chocolate and marshmallow? Mm. Oh, <laughs> on tasty bread. On yeah. all tasty bread. Mommy, wait a minute. Are you listening to me through that? Yeah, I can hear you. How's that? It's not too loud. Oh. Wait, Mason. Don't do that, darling. <laughs> darling. How's that? You've got a fine whistle. High five. Let me take you. Oh, fantastic. I did not even have to have a toy stand. Yes, you did. Dear Mason, parenthesis, I hope you don't mind my using your first name. Uh, in parenthesis, I would. I don't know why I'm sitting here writing this to you. I'm a 20-year, year, 28-year-old housewife with two children and a college graduate. Uh, I'm working for my masters. I've never written a fan letter in my life, but here I am writing to a seven-year-old with whom I'm deeply in love. Take 15. Okay, Mason, go. The last thing I want to 
want to say about Tasty Bread. It's soft and good. 